I asked her that and she was like, well, yes, but also Thailand has a, its own law that's unique to it that um, after you are, you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Yeah, and that, So I mean, Nikki's got a YouTube channel where we share a whole lot. Wait, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. When that hit, we literally were like, Yeah. What? Like, we literally were like, I, wait, what? <laughs> so we're like going around the house. We're like trying to figure out how this could work. Like hashtag baby blur face. Yeah, like blur what are we going to do? Dan's like, maybe we could deal with that for a year. And we're talking about it and we're like, all right, let's pray about it. <clears throat> let's sleep on it. And then let's see how we feel. Well, in the it's morning. not just a rule that Thailand had. Sorry. It's not just a rule that Thailand has like, oh, you can't share anything or talk about your kid for a year it's that the adoption is not finalized until a year later yeah so uh you know the kids are going to be living in our house for a year and it's not all that whole time not, not our, our kid. kid so yeah not okay with that either yeah so, so we slept on it i told a couple of people in my life um like a couple close friends my assistant melissa because she's like super logical and um she responded being like dude like what if there's an accident or something and Holt actually said to us like you need to take this policy really seriously because you could mess up Holt's relationship with Thailand and you could mess it mess up adoptions future adoptions for families that are waiting in line in process with Thailand and so I'm like oh my gosh I like I almost snapchatted while I was signing an NDA once like I'm like it's 